Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this kind of a kaleidoscope kale effect, uh, but uh, using video. So I'm using a video player instead of a specific material. It's going to be a simple video. Let's start that. All right, so let's start this project by creating uh, my project in Unreal Engine 5. Kali, let's call this Kali Scope. Um, this can be done. This is can. Okay, this this can be done with any kind of uh, version of Unreal. I don't think it's very specific to Unreal Engine Five, except for the little bug I may show you. So we have this uh, very standard scene. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import our video. So if we go here, we're gonna create a new folder. If I can create my folder, there we go. New folder. I'm gonna call this video. And here I'm going to import here, call it waves. So there we go. So as soon as we import the video, it automatically creates a file media source, which you can see the source and everything. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a media player from that file source. And it asks us to pick the video output media for making a texture. So we do that as well. There we go. So we get a texture, we get our media player. So the first thing we want to check too is, is it working? So if we click the video now, unfortunately, it's not working. So uh, this seems to be an issue with Unreal Engine 5, I think, but it's very easy to resolve. Uh, you go in Project Editor, you go under Windows Platform. There we go. It's related to the uh, default error. R H I, sorry for my English. Uh, you just put the default here like that and you restart Unreal. There we go. So when you restart, uh, you get a little error here, but it's not a big deal. So now if we go back to our media player, it must work. There we go. So my video is playing. So this is a little glitch. So now it's been fixed. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a panel. So if you go here under shapes, we're just going to use a plane like that. Let's rotate the plane to be to facing us. So let's let's do a little bit of adjustment. I'm going to move these things around. Just be uh, more fitting to the, uh, the the scene I want to I want to do at the end. So we just want to put the screen in front of of the panel and my player look at it. Now we're facing that scene. Okay, so now the the nice part is we're gonna add, uh, we're gonna create. You can you can just drop the texture on it, and we'll automatically create the material. So let's do that. So we if we drop the new media player texture here, I create. Whoops, just create here your new material. So basically, what I'm gonna do is just gonna improve a little bit that. I'm going to put it unlit and it's just going to save a bit of resource. There we go. So now we play, but it's still there's no video. So let's build the. So the whole thing is being built, but still no video. So what do we have to do? We have to start the video. So we're going to do a very uh, little simple trick. We're going to use our open level blueprint here. Uh, and we're going to create a first variable that we're going to call media. Like this, it's going to look, we're going to look for media uh, player. Uh, it's going to be a media player and we want an object reference to the uh, to this guy there we go so i'm gonna drop this get the media player and i'm gonna use the event begin play and here we're gonna play uh, we're gonna open the source actually we're just gonna open the source like that uh, and so our media will be, of course, if we have to compile like this, so the media will be our media player. There we go. And our media source will be the new file media we just import. 
so if we compile save that now and we press play there we go we get our media playing in our scene so that's the first step all right so now how to do the kaleidoscope so we're gonna have to go in blender 1.2 for the moment of recording that so we're gonna do a very simple thing so we add a cylinder uh, we're gonna rotate it I rotate I on the X axis so we are facing the X like that and we're gonna scale it on X for four like this so it's gonna be a little bit larger and what we do uh, to make a kaleidoscope we're gonna add some panel or plane inside our object and associate a material to each of them so let's do that so I'm gonna have a first plane like this rotate y 90 like this and uh, the one one thing I need to be sure gram Z so I want to be sure that my normal is facing the right direction so in order to check that uh, I'm going on edit mode like this and I'm gonna toggle this guy here showing me where's my normal is going so my normal is facing this way which is perfect if I look at this guy the normal is not facing this way so we're gonna want all the normal facing the same direction so if I go back to this guy for example and we look for edit mode we see the normal is facing hard out so this guy this guy this face here is okay because you can see the little line blue lines going out but I want the lines going inside the tunnel so this guy here I'm gonna change it so if I go and select the face uh, like this I'm gonna pick that face I'm gonna go on mesh normal flip so my little blue line must be now inside let's 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 see let's see this inside uh, there we go so you see well it's not easy to see but I can assure you <laughs> oh my god I'm not always that good with I can assure you there's a little line here some a blue line how do I get that so I will use another tool okay let's do that so, okay okay and now we're gonna use this control L we're gonna flip gonna remove that guy and that guy and we're gonna flip the vertices again mesh flip normal sorry not the vertices so we get except this one let's let's flip that normal too there we go so now we get all the vertices not the vertices the normal sorry again no the normals are pointing towards the inside of the tunnel that's what we want and we have a little blue one here it's hard to see but it's pointing also to the inside nice okay okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna do the same with this guy so now this guy is perfectly pointing towards this direction so that's perfect so we're gonna put it back to the center of the like this okay so what what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna multiply this control C control V let's go in object mode control C control V grab X minus 2 for example control C control V grab X 4 so we got four plane so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a material for each of those face one for this guy this one and all of that so let me show how we're gonna do this so we go in edit mode so and we go in the material we pick we select faces like that uh, oh no we're gonna select sorry before we're gonna select all of them Control a so we go in object Control press a and control G so we create a full pro a, a full object now all together and now we're gonna pick the face so we're going to edit mode pick the face so let's start with this guy first here and we're gonna create 
a new material here. We're going to call this face one and we're going to press assign. So that's mean this face is now associated to this uh, material. So we're going to select this one now. Control, we select one, control L to select all the surrounding. Let's do this. Control L, I remove this one, this one, and this guy too. And now I'm going to assign, I'm going to create a new one. It's going to be phase two. Phase two, or let's call it a tube. Right. And we're going to assign the tube like that. Now let's put this guy, going to call this, I'm going to create a new one. Phase two, assign. And now we're going to use this one plus we're going to call this plane one assign this guy plane two assign and now this guy plus you plane tree assign good so now we're going to check who's assigned where so if we take this one select we get the face one so maybe we have to reassign now we take this one plane one assign select good face one select select good my tube just check my tube select good Phase two, select, good. Plane one, select, oops. Select like that, good. Plane two, good. And plane three, good. All right, so we got everything we want. I forgot something. Uh, one thing I want to do is make it the object mode. You go in object mode and shade smooth. So it's going to be more round, so it's better. Okay, let's do this now, export. Sport to give it a name, Kelly Scope. I go to the geometry. I want to be sure my normal is face only, and I do an export. There we go. So now I'll go back to Unreal Engine. So we're going to import this new Kelly. So I'm going to create a new folder just to make things a little bit more clean. Mesh like that. And I'm gonna, gonna import the Kelly Scup FBX. There we go. And ask for creating material. So create new material, you can import all. And there we go. So you get a material for each of your shape. But you don't really need that to be honest. But anyway, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna drag this guy in the scene. We're gonna remove the previous one we did here. And now, we're gonna ch first thing we're gonna do is just remove the physics. So I wanna be sure I can uh, walk inside without problem, but typically should not be an issue, but uh, no block, no collision. So let's start with that. So as you can see now, I can work inside. There we go. So now one thing I notice is I wanna, re I wanna rotate that on Z of 180 like this. There we go. And I'm going to create my kaleidoscope like this. So what's happening here? I try to make it a little bit bigger. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a specific material for that. So, um, so I'm going to copy that material. And I'm going to create an instance for that guy like this. And the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to make it translucid. And I'm going to create uh, a parameters opacity and I'm going to put 0.5 like this. All right. Why I'm doing this is I notice there is a little glitch sometime because what I want to do is my I want my tube to be opaque and I want every of those face to be transparent. So what we're going to do now, we're going to use 
this guy, we're going to call it uh, M layer translucid like that. And we're going to associate this to every face. So I just select that guy. I give my opacity 0.5. Okay. And now I'm going to do this for face one, face two, plane, plane, plane. And that's it. And now for the tube itself, I'm going to use the default one I create here, which this guy is opaque. I'm just going to associate it like that. There we go. And now if I play the thing, I got that kaleidoscope effect. There we go. Thank you for watching. If you have any comment or question, let me know. Thanks.